Hello, welcome back once again to Scandinavia Divergences of Darkness multiplayer. What would you even call the series? An uh, overview? A retrospective? I don't know. In this episode, the dual monarchy falls apart. All right, let's let's get ready, boys. I don't know how you evade it. Let's get ready to rumble. All is crumbling. It says. Just... This was what everyone in Europe had been waiting for. This is the single event that Divergences of Darkness almost entirely revolves around in multiplayer. With my goal of taking Ireland from the dual monarchy, I had been waiting specifically for this event to take that chance along with my allies Burgundy and Aragon to beat the dual monarchy. What exactly happens in the event? Well, Ireland, England, France and Occitania and southern France all break away from the dual monarchy in a single rebellion. They all spawn as different countries that the dual monarchy has a war with immediately. You could compare it to the American Civil War in Vanilla Victoria too. The dual monarchy is reduced to its heartland of Anglois people, the culture group, around northern France and southern England. Oh, and uh, most importantly, Wales. Can anyone, hey, anyone want to help me? Stop I'm having some issues God. in, uh, in my nation. What's, what's up? Is it the rebellion? That? Please be the rebellion. Yeah, it's, you know, can, can we please, can we talk about this? What please be it? the rebellion. Yes, yes, can yes. I, uh, can I, can <laughs> I? You can't Same. hold the rebellion. What's going on? You can't hold the rebellion. I can! So, as usual, I've got a lot of silly diplomacy to explain as uh, best I can. For many years prior to the rebellion, the dual monarchy had Aragon, his enemy, in his sphere of influence and Aragon wanted to break out. Naturally, Aragon chose the moment of the rebellion to break out of the sphere of influence through an event. Oh, he did it! No fucking way! Wait, what's going on? <laughs> Join in, boy! Join in! Submission? Oh, wait, 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 I... Oh. Alright, join, join, join the uh, Aragon spot. Wait, hold on, What's keep... Hey, are you guys... Wait, how... Yeah. Wait, how did, how did you, how did you succeed to, uh... He misclicked. That was an honest misclick! Just misclick! I missed can't get it. Misclick, no, no, game, game is Okay, we can... I accidentally declared war on Aragon. What the fuck? Alright, <laughs> oh my god, alright. Accidentally. Uh, no, yeah, alright, then, uh... So, the important question that was raised here is who was the aggressor? Aragon took an action that directly leads to a war, but the dual monarchy declared it, so who counts the aggressor? Well, according to the word of the law, the rules, the dual monarchy is the aggressor here, and that's what we went with. The dual monarchy, as you saw, didn't even mean to declare war, though. I don't think he would have. I mean, he was just overwhelmed with the events and the war and everything. He just clicked on it. Pretty understandable, really. Then all the boys ended up joining Aragon, the usual allies, Burgundy and Scandinavia, myself. I didn't want to join though. Uh, I just joined because I felt obligated by my allies and all that. I was actually trying to negotiate with the dual monarchy to get Ireland off him. I was offering to help him in the civil war, I was offering him colonies, whatever else. Staying neutral with Burgundy so I didn't help Burgundy eat him. I didn't want to kill the dual monarchy. Scandinavia can have Ireland. That's fair. No, wait. You're letting you me have it? Well, that's cool. Alright, uh, uh, then I'm taking Ile de France. Oh my god, you've oh, opened the oh, colony. Burgundy does it again. He completely nukes all negotiations by sending out a ridiculous demand to take the dual monarchy's capital. That statement alone completely turned the opinions of all the countries, including the dual monarchy, against us and dropped my chances of getting Ireland peacefully completely. And then I go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like I'm taking Ile de France. Yeah, it was all a complete mess. The dual monarchy's mistake of declaring war on Aragon turned out to be really bad for him because from then he couldn't call in all his allies who wanted to help him with the rebellion. Because if you send a call to arms to your ally, they join all your wars that they can possibly join. So I was at war with the dual monarchy now over the Aragon declaration. But I didn't really participate because it was a, a stupid war that shouldn't have happened and uh, wasn't the outcome I wanted. Let's I just take want off Ireland. the land. Let's just fucking so we're just gonna continue here. and we, we will add 100% of tickers of war goals. 100%. I really hate the way this is being done with this Aragon war. It's fucking ridiculous. Say you're joining in three months. Say you're joining yeah. in three. I'm so. still willing to give Ireland though. Still willing to give I Ireland. I accept that. Yeah, but unless you the make war has to end, Germany that's not take Ile de France. I'm not taking Ile de France, but I'm taking no, no, no. a shit from no, Africa, no, no. though. Stop pausing. Nigeria, Stop dude. Pausing. Only not that. taking anything. Why are you giving concessions? Yeah, why are you supposed to win this? Because I'm you have the support you, of dude. Central Europe. Ugh, that's enough of this stupid diplomacy. Let's have a look at some of the actual combat elements that did happen in this war. 
I sent my navy round to the English Channel and Burgundy was destroying the dual monarchy's army in Paris. We're dead. We're literally fucking dead. We're so dead. Let's white peace, okay? Let's white peace. I've ready for white peace. I, I, I After finally peace. having time to think without people shouting, <laughs> it's time to white peace. I think. <laughs> yeah, we're peacing. I mean, come on, white peace. Yeah, everyone agrees. Let TJ decide. It's up to TJ. The, the question is, is no, no. Yeah, he said. Huh? Uh, he said. I guess. So he said. I guess. Good. That means no. That means Spain. Yes. Spain. Are you, do you accept? Good peace, bro. <laughs> like, what? You fucking white peace without He said, I guess. What the fuck? He said, I guess, yeah. I didn't no, say anything. I was about to Oh my god, get shit off. I was about to white guard on Navy, man. Oh. And so the result was a white peace. My northern German territory, Pomerania, was occupied again and wasn't taken. How many times has this been now? Is anyone keeping count? I didn't get Ireland, though. The dual monarchy finished off his rebellion successfully with what was left of his own army as well as support even from as far away as Japan. And Europe was back to almost exactly the same state as it was before this whole mess. Oh my fucking god, communism in Aragon. Oh. oh. No, really? <laughs> <laughs> Look at Wait, my fucking get a military <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Purge the traitors? Why is it good he's bordering? The workers' what revolution mean? killed the capitalists? We're gonna get oh more fucking communist rebels. Everyone's oh my god. god. So my good friend Aragon's now falling apart. One of the main reasons for their sudden decline was a big war that had recently happened before the dual monarchy crisis. I don't really cover in these videos any wars that I'm not a part of because it's difficult to get all the footage and all the information right. But I want to show a little bit about uh, this war that took place between Aragon and the Ottoman Empire in Venice. I don't recall exactly how the war started but Aragon wanted to go into Italy, knock out Venice so that he could form Aragon Italy and claim the whole peninsula. Well, this regional war turned out to be a long, bloody stalemate. Both sides achieved absolutely nothing other than to bleed each other dry and lose lots of soldiers and gain war exhaustion. And not to mention the damage to your economy by having uh, military spending at full. Oh, I mean, we, could, we could just, uh, we could end this war, you know, we could just both fight Venice. And yeah, fight. You, you know, I mean, you know I mean, I'm, I'm mad with you, I just choose the wrong social fucking reform because of you fucking... Alright, well then, we're gonna keep fighting. <laughs> Can we just fucking make a white piece, Aragon? Oh, finally. Um, hmm. Hey, come on, I'll man. Think about it. Okay, I, I will, I will white piece you if you admit that I won this war and you say my pee pee's... No. <laughs> okay, well, the, what? well, well, then no winning. We keep for fighting, you. then. Peace, well, peace in Europe. Your... You know. <laughs> it says peace in Europe could have been attained. If you're going to commit yourself to a huge conflict like that, uh, risk so many soldier losses and uh, destruction of your country, it needs to be worth something. You need to get something out of it, and you need to considerably advance your position. Neither of these countries did. They just dragged each other down and allowed other countries to become more powerful in their place. Aragon, Venice and the Ottoman Empire, three nations that could become very strong in this mod, all three of them just declined into irrelevancy throughout the whole game, because they just tore each other apart in this pointless war, mainly. Not too long after that, Spain came in and took the Catalonian provinces off of Aragon. Aragon was a good ally for a while, but through all this time, Spain was part of the Indian coalition with me, so having them be strengthened is no bad thing. It's just a fake country like Denmark. Wow, what a funny joke, Steve. <laughs> I, I, I like that ISO Productions joke as well, it's good. Mm -hmm. that <laughs> Denmark is not a real country, get it? It's they have funny. the same voice as him, it's man. It's called North Germany. Actually, uh -huh. Who does? You. Me? How do I sound like ISP? You don't. You, <laughs> you don't. don't. What? Oh yeah, well, I, I don't know. Now. Never mind. Dab. Five years yeah, oh, guys, ISP here. I can't do it. Fuck it. <laughs> ISP Productions it. here? And always that, yeah, that okay, soft music. So. Hi, guys. Smooth jazz. But... <laughs> <laughs>